You know, I, I commend you on something. A lot of celebrities show up in the tabloids all the time, the paparazzi photos yeah. of them misbehaving. I never see you ever. And then recently I stumbled on this. Your, uh... <laughs> <laughs> the least cool paparazzi snap <laughs> ever, <laughs> ever. What? What's the story I, there? I, I had just had a big lunch, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, that's I, a lot of toilet paper. It's a lot of, I'm kind of, uh, yeah, that's a, I'm kind of a toilet paper connoisseur. As yeah. you, and uh, that's, that's Charmin Ultra Strong, as you can see, which, uh, <laughs> good, it's a good toilet paper. Yeah. yeah. It's, it, 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 Charmin Ultra Strong is the it, best one. It, it yeah. is a good toilet paper. I, I'm trying to get free toilet, I don't know why I'm trying to get free, because I don't want another picture like that taken. That's no. why I want free toilet paper. Yeah. Please send it to me. Send it to me, <laughs> so you have to go out and get it. But, uh, why, yeah. do you, why is toilet paper so important I think to you? My, I mean, my dad was always really finicky about his toilet paper, uh, so much so my, my parents live in Canada, and actually in Canada, the toilet paper roll are a quarter of an inch more narrow than here in America, and so I actually have to smuggle him toilet paper <laughs> across the border every time I, uh, I go from here to back to Vancouver. Uh -huh. And I'm just saying it now, I don't know if it's illegal. I really have no idea whatsoever. Well, they're gonna, they're, gonna, they're gonna pat you down next time. Yeah, exactly, and I stick it all up my butt, which is all the right, thing <laughs> But now they have the x-rays. Yeah. Now they got the x-rays. As, really as you saves said. a lot of time, cuts out a step. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Cut out the middleman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that toilet paper again is Charmin Ultra Charmin. Strong. Ultra Strong. <laughs> I'm told you just had a, a meeting with uh, one of the great filmmakers of all time, George Lucas. You had a meeting that George Lucas was at? What was I going did. On? I, 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 it was amazing, you know, and as an actor, you get to do things that as a kid, you would never think you got to do. But yeah, I met with, jo I met with Steven Spielberg, and he came into the meeting with George Lucas. And uh, I was so excited as a nerd you know, and I'm like, you know, what do you talk, what's George Lucas going to talk about? Sure. And what he talked about was how he actually thinks that the world is going to end in the year 2012. Like, for real. And, like, the whole what? time I'm thinking, like, is he joking? Like, is he kind of seems like he's joking. And then I slowly realized, like, he's not joking. Like, he really thinks the world, and I, I made a joke, like, good thing Skywalker Ranch is on the other side of the fault line. And he's like, it is a good thing that Skywalker Ranch <laughs> is on the other side of the fault line. Like... <laughs> Because uh, otherwise, I'd be falling into the ocean with the rest of the west, the western seaboard. <laughs> and uh, and honestly, the whole time I was thinking, like, this is insane. A and B. If you're George Lucas and you think this is true, there's no way you don't have a Millennium Falcon somewhere. Yes. That's like full of fuel, just ready to go. And so I said to him, like, can I get a seat on your Millennium Falcon should the time come? And he said, no, I don't have a Millennium Falcon, but I think that's BS, and there's no way that he doesn't have a Millennium Falcon. Because he's Has, George Lucas. So you really think he's telling the truth? I believe anything George Lucas says about space, period. Yeah. I think I, if, if George Lucas tells me one thing and Stephen Hawking tells me something directly conflicting it, I'm going with George Lucas. Very I think, good. I think he, that is he, the... He's your space authority, period. <laughs> that is the right call. Exactly. Now, speaking of space, let's talk about the, the, this, this new movie, Paul. Yes. Now, Paul, it's a, it's a good idea for a movie. Paul is the name of, of an alien. It is. I, uh, it's about two uh, nerds who are uh, tra doing a, a road trip across America, and they discover an alien uh, who's played by me, who, and I, and I kind of use them to, to get me across the country so I can... I can go back to my home planet. <laughs> and uh, it's amazing the technology, you know, it's all like performance capture. It's like the same stuff they used to do Avatar, but uh, it's applied to jokes about private parts and marijuana usage, which uh, I think it's about time that yeah. someone. Uh... <laughs> it's the appropriate use of that technology, exactly. I believe. Yes. Uh, we, we, uh, we have a clip here from uh, Paul. Let's take a look. Yeah. I just had to see that again. <laughs> In fact, I want that to be the clip we show. Every time for now every on. clip. Yeah. If Harrison Ford's out here, I want to let's take a look at that clip of that powerful performance. <laughs> no, let's take a clip. Uh, <laughs> look at a real clip of Paul. Are you an alien? To you, I am. Yes. Are you going to probe us? Why does everyone always assume that? What am I doing? Am I harvesting farts? How much can I learn from an ass? Well, I, I, Paul. I'm sorry. What's your name? It's Graham Willie. And what's his name? Uh, that's the writer Clive Gollings. Okay, cool. 
I'm Paul. Paul? Yeah, it's a nickname that stuck. I, I, my ship crashed on a dog. It doesn't matter. Look, if you don't help me, I could die on this road tonight. Okay. Okay, perfect, great, okay. Help me, help me grab him. This man has peed his pants. <laughs> his name is Paul. His name is Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Exactly. <laughs> Why can't there be an alien named Paul? Exactly. Well, Paul opens uh, March 18th. Make sure you go and see that. And where are you gonna be in 2012 when that day hits? Where you? What I'm, I'm going to be camped out outside Skywalker Ranch, just <laughs> <laughs> praying. Can Andy and I be with exactly. you? Take yeah. us with you, George. Because you, know yeah. you know the whole building. He's going to press a button, and the whole building's going to start to transform. Exactly. It's just going to twist and ship. take yeah. off the take whole off. thing. Goodbye, everybody. Just to hedge our bets, I think we should sit in a canoe. Exactly. You never know. <laughs> you don't know what's coming down.